First, if you have not watched the previous episodes, I will leave you a link to them in the first comment. The episode continues directly on a certain planet. Goku became angry after seeing his mother Jean, who killed in front of his eyes. What will be the result of this anger? Shago spoke saying, I deliberately did that, just to awaken your instincts. As you know, the Saiyan are only motivated by being influenced by their feelings. Goku attacked with all his might, indulging in the destruction that made everyone confused. In fact, he was able to humiliate his opponent for a while and was also able to direct his punches effectively, which gave the impression to others that Goku's ability had doubled, or had he exceeded the expectations of this being. What kind of power did he suddenly gain? I can't believe he was able to knock me out my resistance position. Okay, get ready now Goku. Chisagu also lunged with his harshest might, and it could be said that the two were on the same page in the fight after their anger. They both kept hitting each other. Every time Goku gets hit, it causes him to hit the opponent with the same effect. Impossible, that boy also presented a complication for Chisaku. It seems that these creatures have sensory drives capable of changing their fighting patterns. What now, Demogra? Did you accept my previous words? You are nothing but pawns in this existence. Your arrogance and greed to possess existence makes you look like children. Vegeta quickly ran against his opponent in succession, but the strange thing is that Vegeta was a complication for the opponent, as his movement speed was a weakness for the Demigra. Which means that the competition will inevitably end with unparalleled surprises. Listen carefully Demira, my blows will never be equal to you. You have dared to manipulate my feelings and have been negligent in dealing with me without respect. Thus, I guarantee you a humiliating end. You will not escape no matter how much you can. At the same times, Goku had prosperous opportunities that made him gain the upper hand, but will he really continue like this, as his strength diminishes as the fight progresses? Damn, my anger was the reason I qualified for this level, which means that the opponent's superiority is something that will not last in my favor. I have to end his situation quickly, there must be weak points for this creature. Let me tell you something, the power you released was just a passing event that boiled your heart following the death of your mother, which means I will have the upper hand sooner or later. There's documentation that confirms this. I made a wish for myself to make myself immortal once I captured the Shinron Balls on the planet Namek. Damn! How could I ignore that? What an idiot I am! I could have blocked all the opportunities that would enable these people to flourish. It is too late. All you have to do is release your strength to rest a little with your slow death. How can I continue to fight this cursed man, since he explains that his power has no limits? I have to resort to other ways to kill him. Goku resumed his struggle again and decided to fight with the motive of exploring ways to win. The surroundings were completely affected, and this fight achieved first levels in destruction, the duo strikes exceeded millions of strikes in one second, and this is a record that made Vegeta and Maikashin realize that Goku and Shisego are the strongest in this existence currently. As the conflict progressed, Goku gradually began to lose control. He is weak, but his strength has limits, which makes him gradually lose control. This is what I was afraid of. I have to find a way to win. No more wasting time with you Goku. I'm starting to feel bored. I can say that I've achieved my goal. What I have to do now is end your existence and everyone living on this world now. Take your last breath. Goku received a strong shock, receiving a huge drain of energy. Goku fell to the ground. Is there a savior? This is impossible. I have to quickly finish off Kakarado's opponent. He is in trouble. Vegeta worked to charge a huge amount of power, and Demera became nervous, indicating that his condition was not qualified to confront Vegeta's attack. Indeed, Demera was killed against Vegeta, who is the weakest evil king among his brothers. But what about Goku? Who is fighting to death in front of the strongest king in existence? Referring to Neil, it seemed that he had implicitly indulged in a struggle against Maikishin. Existence was completely shaken by this struggle, one against one, in a place where no one lives and where it is not possible to receive side support from anyone. Will Maikishin really be qualified for this struggle? While Neil aimed his attacks, the others were able to dodge them all comfortably. How did you do that? Where did you get all this power? I cannot believe that you have surpassed the priest and even his brothers. There must be a secret. The emotional influence I experienced from my husband made me hateful towards everyone. 
All these years have pushed me to train and improve my skills to be a woman with high qualities. You are nothing but a coward in front of me now. There is no need to resist me. Even Goku has sensual motivations, which made him develop greatly with me in training. What the hell? How will I get out of a predicament like this? I have to find other ways to escape. Maikishin furiously rushed towards the opponent and then thought about ending the conflict once and for all. She worked to exert all her energy. In the end, Neil the holder of the title of the second most powerful king in existence died. On the other hand, Goku passed out as a scion for a long time and entered into a deep sleep, where he saw a vision as follows. Goku remembered all the events he had experienced in his own time. The effect of the vision filled Goku's feelings with many positive charges. Each character has a role in Goku's life, making the scion start trying again. Goku spoke up. I'm not done yet, I can still continue, and I'm sure there are ways to drop it. Still going Goku? Stop seeking useless courage. You are weak and there's no chance to stop me. At this moment, Vegeta intervenes alongside Goku, and after the victory over Dimura, the prince decides to cooperate with Goku and rush into the conflict. Vegeta, good thing, you finished that damn thing. Goku wasn't a hindrance to me. Do not tell me Vegeta that you want to taste pain on my hand. I do not advise you to do so, as this will make you regret it. Damn you! If we could stay forever, you would see something that would not please you Chisaku. The two of them revived again and a fight like no other began. The coordination of the two's attacks was something that was incomprehensible to Chisago, who faced suffering as a result of this. Vegeta and Goku's fight is not limited to their presence as individuals, but each person has another soul from which he feeds, which is their future soul. Chisaku was affected by the fight and received countless attacks. Every time he tries to avoid a clash, he finds the other party obstructing his path and ruining his concentration. Things remained like this until something strange happened. This is impossible. I feel as if my strength diminishes once I get involved in the conflict. I forgot to say that the longer the fight lasts, the more of your strength will be stolen and your capabilities will weaken as well. I knew there was something wrong with this villain. What should we do now? Kakaroto, you must flee. You must go to another world to search for a way to victory. It may be qualified to help you. I don't feel like I can survive. I feel as if my body is giving up. I've broken my limbs. I won't return to fighting Vegeta. Goodbye. Vegeta felt very sad after losing Goku, as there is no refuge to bring him back. All the Dragon Balls were destroyed, and Goku also lost his life, so where is the refuge? There must be a way to victory. Let us see your opinions in the comment, who will win? Write the name of this person who will save everyone.